as you need, as well as try to use the most natural products you can. I know you feel the beat mm. Do you feel the rhythm all the way? Mm. Can you see the vision? Hey guys, it's Julia Lauren here on Christmas Eve to answer one of the number one questions that I keep getting asked and keep forgetting to record. How do I keep my hair moisturized slash what do I do throughout the week? So a lot of you guys know that I adopted the indigenous trans method. I tweaked it to fit my own natural hair and what it likes to do. I will admit that over the course of 2020, I wasn't following it as closely as I should have, which is probably why I experienced some of the breakage that I did. Do you mind? I'm trying to make a video. Child. So anyway, I put together a little list of how I keep my hair moisturized and a little bit of what I do throughout the week. Number one, stick to a routine for at least three months. Yeah, I would say about three months before deciding that it doesn't work for you. The first time I did the indigenous trans method was when her first video came out with her thigh length hair and she talked about how she washed her scalp with the hot rag. Y'all know what video I'm talking about. And I followed her instructions to a T. I did this for maybe around two, two and a half months before I decided it wasn't for me. It wasn't until I truly stuck to the routine that I realized one of the main reasons my hair was so dry is because I would change my routine way too often to try to keep up with whatever trend was happening on YouTube. Doing this actually stresses your hair out as it tries to, I guess, keep up with all of the constant changes that you're making to it. So I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, but one of the key reasons your hair is so dry is because you're changing way too often. Just stick with what you know. And just, yeah, just stick with what you know. <laughs> Secondly, I would say use as little product as you need, as well as try to use the most natural products you can. So I know I'm not the only one who's seen um, natural hair gurus online who use all these different sorts of products that they get off shelves and when they're twisting their hair or they're styling their hair, you see all the excess like seeping out. You know what I mean? And I don't know about you guys, but I've done this before myself. So what I see when this happens is number one, I'm using way too much product that shouldn't be seeping out like that. And number two, it's showing me that my hair isn't actually soaking in whatever product I'm trying to use. It's kind of just sitting on top. So after everything dries, my hair ends up kind of greasy and oily at the end of the day. Also, I would say that using products that are more natural is just going to be overall healthier for your hair. My third tip would be don't use water. Now, let me explain. The heat from water may open the cuticles of your hair. The absence of heat in water may close those cuticles of your hair. But at the end of the day, water does not moisturize your hair. What does water do? It evaporates leaving your hair in the same state it was in in the first place. So I never, ever, 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 ever try to moisturize my hair with water. So if not water, then what? I personally like to use aloe vera juice. However, if I'm out of aloe vera juice or I just feel like it's a little bit too expensive right now, um, I'll instead just get coconut water and I'll moisturize my hair with that. I put it in a spray bottle. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling uber luxurious. I may put some lavender essential oils in it and I use that in my hair. And speaking of oil, never use oil itself to moisturize your hair. Oil seals in moisture or lack thereof and should not be relied upon in order to moisturize your hair. I see a lot of people who try to oil their scalp. Um, I know a lot of us were raised doing that. That's actually not so great for your hair. That actually causes a lot more buildup than we previously thought. So I never put, yeah, actually no, I don't really put anything on my scalp unless it's the aloe vera juice itself. As far as oils go, I follow indigenous strands and in using castor oil. Whatever oil works for you, works for you. 
Um, I have spoken quite a bit of times in some previous videos about how I don't like Jamaican black castor oil. I've actually gotten a couple comments uh, by people saying that um, black, Jamaican ca black Jamaican castor oil is not a mixture of oils. Um, if anybody can provide a link for that or, or something um, showing that or a product that they like to use, it'd be greatly appreciated. Number five, your hands are probably in your hair. No, that is a big no-no. That'll cause dryness so freaking fast. So number five, keep your hands busy. I don't know what you like to do in your spare time, just as long as it doesn't have anything to do with your hair. Like after your hair is done, leave it alone, sis. Leave it alone. Your face and your hair, leave it alone, don't touch. And then in order to help with that, number six, as you see here, put your hair up. Um, I would say either put it in a scarf or at least by the bare, like bare minimum, put it in a bun. Um, this is actually what I do throughout the week. I usually have my hair in a bun. And then towards the end of the week, because it's about wash day, um, again, and my hair starts looking all frizzy, is when I usually start wearing more scarves. But keeping your hair up and tucked away will keep your hair much more moisturized. And then finally, my last tip, number seven, this I didn't learn until I was pretty much moving away from Arizona to Texas. Your hair might be reacting to your climate. So a little tip that I like to use um, right now, I just mainly use it in the summer before I go out, just like how my skin needs to protect it. And so I put SPF, my hair needs to protect it. So I actually spray a heat protectant over my hair before I go out if my hair is going to be exposed. If not, and I'm gonna be out for a significant amount of time, I wrap my hair in a scarf. It's so important to wrap your hair away. Believe it or not, I think it's way easier for us to keep our hair moisturized than we're thinking it is. Um, a lot of these YouTubers are going on and on and on. I can't, you know, I, I can't really say much myself. I products endorse too. You guys look at my description box. You guys see that I use a certain Shea Bay Butter and it is the holy grail when it comes to my routine. However, if you notice there's a pattern, there's a pattern because these YouTubers say, I do this once a week, I do this once a month. I want you to take every single video where they say that, where they say they do that something X amount of times a week or X amount of times a month and then combine it and try to see if they actually do all those things. You really think sis is using this leave-in conditioner once a week plus this clay mask this many times a week, plus this other mask that she DIYs herself, plus this other DIY mask. And then she also shampoos with this one once a week, but she shampoos with this one once a month. Ain't nobody got time for that. Your hair can't keep up with all of that. Stick to what is best for your hair. Stick to what you know. Make it as simple as possible. If you guys want an updated routine as to how I go about the indigenous trans method, and maybe I can go into more detail, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to make that for you guys. Um, and for now, this is Julia signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.